Hey, John, have you got a minute? Yeah, what's up, uh, Stu? Well, there was a guy rung me the uh, other day and he says, uh, have you seen that uh, two guys testing one of these machines? The, uh, the, 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 the Quest. Oh, oh, yeah, the, the, the Quest pinpointer. Yeah, and, and, and it starts off where they're having trouble, where it's going, it's going off and on all the time. All right. OK, well, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've had no trouble with it. I seem to be all right yeah, with it. Yeah, OK. Ah, yes, I can, I can answer that, Stuart. Uh, with the pinpointer, what I tend to do is um, have the pinpointer when, when you're actually going to use it. Now it comes. That display level, I have it, we call it 9 o'clock. Facing 9 o'clock, that way. And it should go into the holder and turn off automatically. Turns off. So, easy. On, active. Display, nine o'clock. Turn off. The good thing also about this pinpointer is that it lights up red on iron, which is ferrous, and green on non-ferrous targets. Now, I've got two example targets here. I've got a bit of barbed wire that's iron, and also gives a bit of a deep tone, if you can hear that. Deep tone, iron, and lights up red. And so, non-ferrous should light up green. So let's try a bit of non-ferrous. In fact, you've got some sort of coin type thing here that I have to put into the hole. There we go, look. Now, the good thing about this pinpointer is that it works on the black tip and mainly on the end of the tip, which is how I want it. That's how I like it. A lot of a lot of uh, pinpointers work on the total length of the pinpointer, but this works on the tip. Get it on the tip, and that's where the target is. That saves a lot of digging time. You're getting it on the tip. When this pinpointer is fully charged. It has a great life. After the second dig, I generally then recharge it. Uh, what this uh, uh, pinpointer actually uh, is able to do is uh, three levels of adjustment. The first one being just a, a normal beep uh, as it's the target. The second adjustment is vibration. And third adjustment is beep and vibration. And another good feature about this pinpointer is that if you do leave it on and you don't put it in its holster properly, it will automatically turn off. You literally go beep, 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 and it just turns off. And you have to press the button to turn it on. So you don't waste no battery. Also, if you say, for instance, leave the pinpointer on the field, after 10 minutes, it starts calling you to pick it up. What a brilliant feature. I think it's very important when reviewing any type of equipment, to take some time to understand it before you review it. Otherwise it's going to make you look a fool. And don't forget guys, the old saying is, a poor workman always blames his tools. That was a, a very interesting day. Thank you very much for joining me and catch you on the next adventure.